Welcome back to YouTube. I'm Ahmed again from In Depth Tech Reviews. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about every single detail showed in the Pixel 6 ad released by Google on the 9th of September 2021. This is the first time Google shows the actual device in hand, so let's dig deeper to see what we've got. Starting with the back of the phone, with no doubt the Pixel 6 has the most unique smartphone design of the year because of its horizontal camera module that fills the entire width. After seeing the first renders also revealed by Google, some people were worried about how big is the camera bump will be in real life. In the ad, Google showed the phone from different angles, which will give us a clearer idea about the size in reality. Here's the first shot of the phone from an angle, and it doesn't look that big to me. And I don't think it will let the phone wobble while being used on a flat surface because it covers the whole width and it's placed at the very top of the back panel. And here's another shot that confirms what we have seen in the previous one. Looking at the camera module, we can clearly see three lenses, which as expected, a wide, ultra wide and a rectangular periscope with 4x zoom as per the leaks, which will be missing from the smaller Pixel 6. There is also a flashlight and a small hole, which is most probably a secondary microphone. And finally, the Google branding is now in the center, which is something we didn't see since the first Pixel. Now let's take a closer look at the buttons. The power is no longer using a different accent color like the previous models. However, it blends nicely with the metal chassis. The button's material looks like metal as well with a curved space between them, which I think will make it easier for you to distinguish the buttons when you slide your finger on top of them. And here are three different shots for the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro in hand, so you will roughly get an idea about the real size. They will have 6.4 and 6.7 inch displays respectively. Now let's move on to the front. The MGs show a pretty wide and thin speaker grill at the top of both models, which will presumably include all the front sensors instead of placing them under the display, like we saw with the Pixel 5. Also, we can clearly see the difference between the flat and curved display panels used in the Pixel 6 and its Pro model, which makes the Pro model look identical to Samsung phones. Another finding here is the slightly bigger chin compared to the rest of the bezels, but it doesn't look bad by any means. Here is another render for the Pixel 6 Pro that confirms these findings. It has a curved display with a slightly bigger chin, the signal antennas are now visible on the sides, which is something I didn't see in Pixel phones since the Pixel 2. The ad didn't only show the phone, but it also gave us more hints about Android 12 on top of what we already know from the I.O. event. Starting with the widgets, there is another music widget that we didn't see before. It has a rectangular shape with the play, pause and like buttons. The analog clock shows the date, which is not the case with the current one we have. And finally, a horizontal weather widget. This part also shows what it looks like a color picker with four solid colors, which is the same number of colors we have under the basic colors category in the wallpaper and the style app. But they are different, so that could be a hint for more colors in the future. These are the things I spotted in the Pixel 6 ad. Please let me know in the comments if you have anything extra. So I hope you like my video, and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.